You only get one take, and that's it. I mean, if it's a perfect game and a fan wants to watch it, they need to be able to watch it. Like, we don't get a do-over. We were the first professional sports league anywhere in the world to actually put their content online and stream it. The uh, sort of chaotic rhythm of the game, or the rhythm of consumer demand, is actually something that's very difficult to engineer for. Maybe a given game that's a, you know, 5-0 blowout doesn't seem interesting until the eighth inning when all of a sudden the person who's got, you know, the zero on the board is actually throwing a perfect game or a shutout. All of a sudden now interest may peak and that peak may build in two or three minutes because of the fact that this person's crossed an important threshold. Baseball is a unique sport. Not only are, do we have the most number of games, but we're also very regionalized. And so each team generally, other than the national games, has a home and a visiting feed. And that's just the video, then a home and a visiting radio feed, and then a home and a visiting often Spanish feed as well. So just one game could actually be six different feeds that are going on simultaneously. So we really do 5,000 live streaming events a year just for baseball, plus another 15,000 that we do for some of our other partners. If you add it all up, our overall storage footprint just for baseball is about 1.5 petabytes a year. We're at the point where we're pushing against scaling issues. And so we've tried it, you know, different ways of scaling different technology, SAN technology, NAS technology, et cetera. And we had kept an eye on Isilon for quite some time because of their broadcast space, you know, sort of pedigree. Uh, when they joined with EMC, now we saw the folks that we knew knew about regular IT-centric data. We now knew about folks who knew about broadcast data, and we knew it was going to have a life ongoing. The thing that's so appealing about Isilon is it does scale very linearly at very, very large volumes of both data traffic as well as just storage in general. The other side of it is just pure performance. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. You know, we're just continuing to expand. I mean, at this point in our global network over two data centers, we're storing over 15 petabytes worth of content. And when you start talking about things like 3D and 4K and some of this other stuff that's, again, emerging technology, you know, the SAN was not good enough for what we had now. It's not going to be good when we start to scale it even further. And that's why the linearity of the Isilon scaling is very interesting to us, very important to us, because it really allows us to plan for what the application is going to be and not worry about if I'm going to fly disks out of the rack because I'm hitting it too hard. I think that, you know, the big thing is that we hit watershed moments in technology where, you know, something happens and, and now things are possible that weren't possible before. And that's really what Isilon is. It's a paradigm shift of philosophical doctrine to say, this is the way that people have envisioned storage in the past. I'm not going to do it that way. So we look for companies that, that are aligned philosophically with where we are about the fact that you're making a promise to a customer. But in order to build compelling experience, you have to choose your partners wisely. Isilon is a very important choice for us. And baseball's got a continuity unlike any other sport that's out there. The game will exist after me. It certainly existed for 100 years before me. But while it's in my possession, I'm the custodian of that game. And so the technology is just a proxy for that. If I make a promise to a fan to deliver a high quality experience that has these attributes to it, I have to keep that promise. You need to be competent, you need to be capable, but ultimately you need to be consistent with what you're delivering. And so when Isilon signs on for it, you know, EMC understands what that means to really play a part of that team.